Hey everyone, it's Chubb. So I was trying to record the Nintendo Direct yesterday, right? Because that's like the first Direct in 500 days. YouTube was being stupid. <laughs> it kept saying my status was poor and I wasn't sending bitrate, but I was. So at like the last minute, I tried recording it, and that would have been posted yesterday, but the recording corrupted. So now I'm here, by myself. I had, like, five other people reacting with me, but yeah, I'm by myself. So I'm just gonna do a quick recap of all the big stuff in the Direct, and I'll, like, give my thoughts and analysis or whatever. So we have the start. Yep, it's Nintendo Direct. An actual Nintendo Direct. We haven't had one of these in, like I said, 500 days. And that wasn't really because Nintendo was trying to move away from them. That was just because the pandemic was happening. Just a bunch of games got delayed. I guess there wasn't really enough information to make a full-on Direct. But anyway, we get our first big announcement right at the start. And what we have here, you have no clue what it is. And then, ba-boom, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I thought this was going to be DLC or whatever, but according to some people, I think this is the ending of Xenoblade Chronicles 2 or something. Pyra just disappeared. So yeah, Rex says Pyra disappears. They go on. And eventually, Rex enters the cloudy world. And look at this. This is where you were. This is where you were? Check this out. So Pyra's right here. I know some people caught this, but this ground right here? That's Smash Ultimate FD. I didn't catch that when I first watched it, so I was super surprised when she said what she says. Sorry, Rex. I couldn't tell you. Because... I got an invitation to join Smash! Yeah, that was really hype. Oh, that face! Oh, that's a thumbnail right there. That is a thumbnail. <laughs> I'll just move my cursor out. Okay. That's thumbnail material. And then, ba-boom! Pyro's in Smash. Whoa, I, I, was gonna be in Smash. I know Alpharad really wanted this character, and I'm happy for him. He's predicted so many characters, and so has Alax. They're like, the prophets of Smash, I guess. This character looks really sick, though. To me, it kind of looks like Ike, but with fire. So it's like a mixture of Roy and Ike, which is Chrom, but not. It's weird. Oh, and that's like the Sora thing from Smash Flash 2 when he swings the sword. You'll know what I'm talking about if you played Smash Flash. Also, this is a pretty cool CGI cutscene. They made it in the style of Smash Ultimate. I really like that. Like, it's very close to how Smash Ultimate looks. And then here's where we learn she has a counter, yep. And then, bada book, bada boom, we get Mithra. And everyone's like, oh my god, Xenoblade! And Baboom Mithra, yeah. So this is kind of a dual character. Kind of like Sheik and Zelda from Melee and Brawl. They split in 4 and Ultimate, but... Yes. I feel like this character will be sick. And somewhere here, we find... Okay, I clearly missed it. But somewhere in here, we see that... Yeah, right there! Pyra switched into Mithra... And that gave her invincibility, kind of like how PT swap works. I feel like that's going to be sick. This character will probably have some pretty good mix-ups. I don't know about combos. The moves seem decently fast. We'll, we'll just have to see whenever the full presentation comes out for her. But yes. And the final smash is really interesting. It's not a cutscene final smash, or not really. All the DLC so far has basically been cuts and final smashes. But if you look at this, it starts as an attack, goes into a cutscene for like a second, and boom, we're back in the game. This is what? This is the first final smash. That's for DLC that isn't a cutscene. So that's pretty sick. <laughs> yep, and then we get more things, and hello, yep, yep, yep. Uh, Fall Guys is on Switch, okay. It's kind of dead, though, because Among Us killed it, like, two weeks into its prime. But whatever. Do, 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 do. The next big thing is... Come on, where is it? 
Come on, there it is. Next. Mario Golf. Please take a look at this. Yo, th this was so hype though. Uh, there hasn't been a Mario Golf game on a console since the GameCube. That came out in like, what, 2001, 2002? So it's been almost two decades since we got a golf game that's Super Mario themed on a console. I think we got some random golf thing on the 3DS, but I mean, this looks pretty hype. The fairway is open once again. Game looks pretty nice. Let's see, where is Waluigi? There he is. There is my boy Waluigi. Oh. Waluigi? Come on. Enjoy golfing with familiar Mushroom Kingdom characters. There he is. There is my boy Waluigi. At least he's in this game. So one more thing I want to talk about. Okay, yeah, there's the motion controls. Then we have this. Golf. Speed golf. This Here looks fun. Your turn. It's Everyone golf, but at the same time, real time and it's the always your turn, your I guess. Give it another whack to get it closer to the hole. 3D and world, maybe? Kind of looks like 3D I'll world. Face your opponents to come out on top. Your golfing skills aren't the only There's things power play. See, it's just 3D World, but golfified. Special shots to beat the competition. Okay, yeah, pretty hype game. And then we get not so good stuff. We get Borderlands again, some retro things, games I don't care about. There's some weird, yeah, anime, cartoon kid crap, DC, whatever. Yeah, who cares? This game died immediately. <laughs> oh, Metopia. Okay, that's kind of hype though. This okay. game is gonna be amazing on Switch. Meet Heard good things on the 3DS. Nintendo Switch. When it's coming to Switch, Cast me characters the Meme Maker's amazing in this, the on this console, so... I think Turn we can make some amazing Meme RPGs with this. Like, I can't wait voice. to see the content. If you can customize this villain here... If you can customize this guy, that's gonna be amazing. Because I feel like you can make, like, what, Dr. Eggman or Peter Griffin or basically whoever you want as the main villain, if you can do that. It's gonna be sick. There's makeup or whatever, new hairstyles for this game. Okay, that's fine. Pre-order is available today. Oh, I didn't catch that. Uh, there's Mario content coming to Animal Crossing. If anybody's into that, I'm not really into that, but yep. Uh, the new Octopath game, the sequel, I believe. What is it called? Oh, oh. Project Triangle Strategy. That is a very bad name, but whatever. Yeah, I'm not really interested in the Octopath Traveler, so I'm not interested in the sequel, but I know some people like the game, so yeah, hooray for them. New Star Wars game. I thought this was Fortnite for a second. Who cares? More anime stuff that's like copying Persona. Hades, wait. Forgot about that. Yeah, Hades is coming to Switch. That's amazing. Well, it's already on Switch. I mean, the physical version. It has a bunch of extra stuff like a soundtrack and artwork. For all people that are interested, that's pretty cool, I guess. Ninja Gaiden, I, okay. There's going to be an expansion pass for Hyrule Warriors. Okay. Again, not into that. Apex is coming to Switch. I don't know how many people are actually excited about this. Like, I know some people that don't have other consoles or a good PC will, of course, be happy about this, but for people like me that also have, like, an Xbox or a PlayStation, there's really no need to get it on Switch because it's just going to run worse. I mean, I guess the portability is nice, but you need to have an internet connection to play anyways, so... I don't know. I mean, good job to whoever ported it. I mean, it looks pretty good for being Plus, for the first a Switch game. After... Like, it looks pretty similar to how it does on console, just a bit worse, but yeah. Oh, and then we have more Zelda news. There was no Breath of the Wild 2 news, but apparently it's still going strong. The development's still good. But we did get Skyward Sword. Yet another remake of Skyward Sword for the Switch. Last time this was released was in 2011. But yeah, here it is. It's just the same thing, right? It's probably upscaled to 1080p, or at least I'd hope so. And they changed the motion controls, so it now uses Joy-Con. Yep, that, that's about it. I, I feel bad for all the Zelda fans. This is their 35th anniversary, I believe, and I really hope there's, like, some sort of direct for them, because if 
I feel like Nintendo, Nintendo could do something hype. I feel, really feel like they could. Well, we have really one big announcement after this. One final announcement. Oh, wait. Wait, I gotta see these Joy-Con again. The Joy-Con look pretty sick. I actually like those a bunch. And then we have the final announcement. Please take a look at this. This is probably the hypest one. Even more hype than Pyra and Mythor getting into Smash. And ba-boom. Splatoon 3. <laughs> I feel so happy for all the Splatoon people. Now they have two Splatoon games on the Switch. You didn't have to wait another console generation. You already have a third now. And I mean, the people that love Splatoon love Splatoon. They are probably so hyped about this. I mean, I'm not really a Splatoon player. Like, I played Splatoon 1 on the Wii U. It was fine. I mean, I like other shooters better. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I don't know. I mean, it's a really cool concept for a game. It looks like there's going to be more of an open world type story to this one. Just because, I mean, just look at this. Look at all the space that you could possibly play in. And notice how far away the camera is, too. This looks like it could be part of some level. And I believe this is the... I can't think of the name. I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, we ride the battle bus and ba-boom, Splatoon 3. And we have a new hub world. I don't think this is in Coppolish, but it might be in Coppolish. I don't know. Well, after we get the title, ba-boom, we're going into the game. And that's how you launch in. And the gameplay looks pretty similar to Splatoon. I'm sure there'll be new weapons, new stuff, all that. Good remix of Splatoon in the background. Yep, it's Splatoon, and then we have a crab, of course. And, well, that's basically it for the Direct. Uh, there wasn't much else, really. There, there was stuff that I'm not really interested in. The big things were definitely Pyramithra, Mario Golf, Splatoon 3... And, I mean, that's about it. I wouldn't really call Skyward Sword a big thing, because it was already on the Wii. And they didn't seem to do much besides change around the motion controls. Yeah, okay. Well, those are basically my thoughts on the Direct. I thought it was a pretty good Direct all around. Of course, there was stuff I didn't like, but there's a bunch of stuff here for all sorts of people. I'm sure at least everybody got hyped about this. There shouldn't be a person that isn't hyped about none of these. I mean, that would just be crazy. Anyway, that that's it. Th those are my thoughts. I, I might do an analysis video on Pyra, maybe. Or I might just wait for the actual Sakurai presentation. Either way, I'm going. See ya.